Hi, I'm Jeremy Barnish and this is our video blog, Silly Robuck and I, called This Is Something. I'm here with the Patokaites today. Um, we're here discussing the Patoka launch. So tell me, what are we announcing? So on October 13th, we're going to announce a uh, the Patoka system, which is a 4U system with up to four Victoria Falls processors. Its official name is the T5440. It's uh, our largest CMT system yet. It's got up to 256 threads and up to half a terabyte of memory, and it's a real uh, kick-ass product. What actually is a Patoka? <laughs> Other than a good name, what is it? So a Patoka is a uh, 4U system. It's got a a motherboard with you know daughter cards to plug into it and you can build your system up from two-way to four-way uh, processors build up the number of threads from 128 to 256 build up the memory from about 64 gig all the way to half a terabyte. Batoka is based, uh, named after the Batoka Gorge in Africa. The whole series of processors and systems is based around African theme. We started with Victoria Falls which is the widest falls in the world. What are the top two or three things people need to know about these systems? So I think that the, the most important thing about this system is the ability to just crunch an awful lot of work in such a small size. I mean, today cost is very sensitive amongst major customers, especially in the financial markets. And the ability to take their large workloads and just put it onto a, a smaller system is really the key here. And also the way it stacks up against you know the opposition. I mean, large end systems today cost many millions of dollars. And this is only you know tens of thousands of dollars. But the nice thing with our logical domains technology is that we own the technology from from the firmware, from the chips, all the way up to the operating system. So we've been able to tune and tweak this to make it give us the uh, the ultimate performance. Uh, it's as bad as scalable as the platform is in terms of how many domains, uh, how many uh, guest operating systems, for example, we can put into the single platform. So it's it's a it's a beautiful means for us to do something for the customer in terms of consolidation that competes extremely well with what's available in the x86 environment today, um, especially when you consider the cost. Uh, in terms of cost for some, uh, for, for logical domains for customers, it's free. Um, that's not something that anybody else out there with a the virtualization technology can say. How does it stand in terms of performance, this system? So, so yeah, we're going to announce a lot of uh, world records, uh, SAP, um, Java benchmarks, uh, App Server benchmarks. We've really pushed the limit on all of these. I'm going to have a, quite a few world records on the day of the launch. And what we've been comparing against are the very high-end uh, IBM power um, systems. So here you have a, a system in the range of fifty to one hundred thousand dollars coming up against systems in the range of millions of dollars, and in some cases beating them hand. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, bloggers out there. I mean, I'm sure you, between the two of you, I don't know if both of you do do yeah, blogs, do. but um, and I understand there's also a blog fest. I mean, so tell me a little bit first of all, those uh, what's what's the blog fest? I think Alan Parker is the guy that's Alan Parker, yeah, in Australia is running the blog fest. We have. Um, We've had a blog fest since T1, so we've had one for T1, T2, and T2+. Plus. Basically, we get as many engineering, backline engineers as possible to talk about their experience and the issues they've had, talk about the architecture, talk about a particular thing that they've done on Batoka. So we really are looking for people to get out there and, and blog about it. And if they need access to hardware, you know, we're, we've got some available too that they can try their stuff on. Why is this particular product and product range important to Sun? Why is this an important thing for us, basically? So I think for Sun, you know, we've bet big on this. You know, Spark especially, we've, we've really focused our development on cores, many, many cores and many, many threads, and that's our big bet. And I think from if you look at the way our opponents like Intel and AMD are, are moving, everybody's going this direction as well. So I think we really shaped the market. We, we moved the industry this way. And I do think that, you know, from that perspective, we're way ahead of the curve. Anything else you guys want to add about this system that might be of interest to, say, people blogging out there or writing stories that is kind of, I didn't cover? The thing I'd like to get out there is that we need customers to go out and buy these things and play with them. Um, well, that would be useful, yes. That would be useful, of course, but it's, a, it's one of these things that will protect not only us in the future, obviously, we'd like to sell these systems, but I think in terms of customers and application vendors, they need to get experience with lots of threads. It is the way of the future. We're seeing that trend starting now. Um, we've been obviously leading the way for a long time with the CMT systems, but in the x86 world, they're beginning to catch on that threads are the only way to get performance now, and uh, the applications, um, the, the operating systems themselves are lagging behind in terms of performance compared to Solaris and the applications that we as Sun have put together to work on these on these platforms. I am Jeremy Barnish. This is something. Um, this will go out internally, then externally on the day of the launch. I'd like to thank uh, Dennis Sheehan and Peter Wilson for coming along today just for a short interview on the what's happening there. Good blogging. Good luck with this. Thanks very much. Thank you.